Hey guys, what's going on? It's me again, CJ. As you can see, there's not gonna be a face cam today, and that is because I look super fucked up. I look like the dollar star version of the Hulk on crack. You wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Yesterday night, I did not get any sleep, because I've been thinking about Unus Anus. And with thinking, I mean that I've been laying in bed with my eyes wide open and memories burning into my mind. So, without further ado, here are top 10 of the worst Unus Anus moments. <laughs> my ass. Number 10. The Cheese Song. Not a single brain cell was present in the making of this song. Lila tried to save it with the very short second verse, but she was absolutely no match for these two idiots. And worst of all, it's super catchy, so it's stuck in your head for days. Two, three, go! <laughs> Number 9, The Hole in the Wall. I couldn't believe that this wasn't scripted. I've never seen Mark that genuinely angry, and he just turned into a full-fledged Kyle, fueled by three days grace and monster energy, and I hated it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad. The pre-workout got me all hopped up. The stain on the carpet, the president's expectancies, you know? His standards are really high. My ass. Number 8, Melon Man. Ethan. Pure, sweet, innocent Ethan going absolutely rabid in his shower just triggered my fight or flight reflex like nothing ever did before. I am traumatized to this day. A melon man is my sleep paralysis demon and I cannot get rid of him. My ass. Number 7. The Kick in the Balls. Watching this episode was like being that one teenager in a Final Destination movie. You knew it was going to happen, but you couldn't stop it and you didn't know when, so all you could do is sit there, watching the screen anxiously, and when it finally happened, I felt a great, great disturbance in the force. My ass. Number 6. Plant Abuse. Up to this point, I thought I was just watching two psychopaths who like to play with people's emotions, you know? That would have been completely fine. But no, these two psychopaths, they tortured a live, helpless plant for joy and views. And that was just something that made me lose faith in humanity. My ass. <laughs> Number 5. Blindfold Tattoos. Okay, actually, the episode itself wasn't that bad, it was completely normal. But the heart attack I had when I read that title, because I just knew that these two single brain cell organisms would be absolutely capable of doing such a stupid thing like blindfold tattoos. It was just too much for my poor heart to take. My ass. <laughs> Number four, the lore part in how to start a fire. Just see for yourself. About willpower as well, because you look at yourself in the mirror and say, do, do I have the willpower to follow through with this? Then, you know, I think that I'm a pretty compassionate, pretty, pretty heartfelt kind of person. And I don't think that even with a gun to my head, I don't know if I would have personally have the willpower to follow through with that kind of action and take another human life. It's so much to think about. <laughs> Seriously, you can't just drop something like this that close to the end of Unisanus and expect us to not go completely crazy. The complete fanbase went back through all of the videos trying to find bits and pieces of lore that may have been missed. Like, we didn't even know if something existed or if this was just a big prank. But nevertheless, we all ran around like headless chickens trying to find the lore before it's gone forever. My ass. Number 3. The Chubby Gummy. Seeing Mark mouth birth this giant abomination of chewing gum just did unspeakable things to my body and mind, and I don't want to talk about it, so let's move on to the next one. My ass. Number two, the moment Ethan ate a bug, the crunch. The fact that he literally just bit off the head of a goddamn beetle. It was just play disgusting to watch, and I grinched, and I'm very, very happy that this specific video is gone forever. <laughs> Number one, the end. For one year, we had joined Mark and Ethan on this journey, and for one year, we had laughed and we had cried with them. And, and there was still this hope left that with hashtag push reset or whatever, we might be able to save Unas Anas. But during this last 12 hour livestream, I think we all collectively realized that we couldn't, and 
I don't understand how Mark and Ethan, as content creators, can do such a thing to their fan base. Um, they knew that this was would hurt m millions of people, and they still decided to delete Unis Honest. Like they still have each other, you know, and they still have the memories they made together. But we, as a fan base, we're left with silence. <laughs>